Welcome to Lydia's Cuisine. Today I'll be showing you how to make coconut cake. For the ingredients you'll need I'll need 3 cups of all-purpose flour sifted I'll need 2 cups of sugar I'll need a cup of coconut milk 4 large eggs 4, table, four teaspoons of baking powder 1 teaspoon of salt a quarter cup of desiccated coconut one teaspoon of cinnamon a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and two teaspoons of vanilla essence and then I'm gonna need one cup of butter at room temperature before I start mixing in the ingredients I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so I'm gonna mix in the dry ingredients first to the flour I'll mix in the baking powder the salt the cinnamon and the nutmeg into the flour Then I'll start mixing in, I'll put in the sugar and the butter in my stand mixer. The butter should be at room temperature. You'll have to make the mixture nice and fluffy and after mixing for about 5 minutes I'll start putting in the egg one at a time and mixing at low speed because you don't want the eggs to splash on your face. Occasionally, I'll use my spatula to remove the mixture away from the mixing bowl. Still at slow speed, I'm going to make sure the eggs have mixed well into the mixture. I'm going to mix this for about 2 minutes. Then I'll start mixing in the coconut milk. I'll now start mixing in the flour mixture slowly I'll start at slow speed because I don't want the flour to splash on my face I forgot to put in the vanilla essence so I'm just gonna add it up in here two teaspoons of vanilla essence and then lastly I'm gonna put in the desiccated coconut Mix it all up in there. Occasionally, I'm gonna scrape my mixing bowl so that everything is mixed up well. 
after everything is well mixed together I'm now gonna scrape off everything from the paddle I'm gonna mix in everything with my hand once more just to make sure that everything is mixed up well thoroughly before I start putting it into the baking sheet I had already preheated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'd already greased my pan you can grease the pan and put parchment paper on it or you can just grease it just the way I've just greased it without putting the paper it's all good now I'm gonna put in my mixture I'll make sure it's well leveled before I put it in the oven just like that it's now ready to be put in the oven I'll place it in, my, in the oven and set the timer for about 30 minutes I added about um, 15 minutes to the cooking time which added up to about 45 minutes instead of 30 minutes to the cake and this is how it came out with a skewer inserted it came out clean so you know it's thoroughly cooked after cutting it up this is how it came out it's soft on the inside Thank you for watching my video and if you liked my video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you and God bless you.